These were strange wedding accessories. It was 10 days before my wedding day. Um, as soon as I fell, I knew I broke my wrist. In 2017, days before her dream wedding, Jacqueline Summers broke her wrist. Her arm in a cast wasn't part of her plan. All I've ever wanted to do is, is find my soulmate and marry them. Um, I wanted my day to be magical and I never planned this. So her groom Jonathan did what he could to make her feel better. He hatched a secret plan with the entire wedding party and they all wore ace bandages during the wedding photos. I was literally laughing to the point of tears. It was something I had no idea they were doing and I never expected that. It was very kind, it was very heartfelt. I just fall in love with him each day over and over again. I couldn't ask for anyone better. How cute are these puppies posing with this bridal party? In 2016, Brad and Catherine Ziemer from Minnesota supported an organization that rescued dogs from a high kill shelter. Instead of bouquets, her maids held puppies to bring awareness to dog adoption. In 2017, this animal loving bride had a similar idea. She agreed to have adorable puppies instead of bouquets. She and her groom were both rescue dog advocates and didn't think twice about adding the adorable dose of cuteness. Afterward, all the puppies featured were adopted, making the couple's best day ever even better. This couple did the same thing when five eight-month-old rescue boxer coonhound puppies joined their bridal party. It was a surprise to the groom, but he went along with it happily, as did the groom of this bride. I originally wanted to use my own three dogs that I have but decided that they already have love and home, so I wanted to try to help rescue dogs. Instead of roses or orchids, Samantha Clark borrowed puppies from a local rescue organization and gave them to her bridesmaids to hold as they walked down the aisle. They were a huge hit. The bridesmaids were ecstatic to hold them down the aisle. Um, it all flowed very perfectly. There was no accidents with the puppies. They were the best well-behaved puppies I've ever dealt with. They did not yip, they did not cry, they were more than content um, in the arms of the bridesmaids. Have you ever heard a wedding march like this? In 2021, several summer weddings were crashed by cicadas. Every 17 years, cicadas surface, and outdoor weddings are the perfect targets. Their buzzing was so loud, it drowned out the band. One cicada even landed right on this groom. Lauren Magaki also had to deal with the insects at her wedding. It was essentially like a nice karaoke machine, uh, and it kind of, the cicadas were so loud, and so that it just allowed us to put the volume up a little bit on the event. Wedding planner Katie Bronstein shared how to deal with the wedding crashers. Wear closed-toed shoes. <laughs> Also, if you happen to have something drop on you, just know they're not dangerous, they're not harmful. Um, just try your best to kind of discreetly flick it off. <laughs> in 2015, Joel Berger and Ashley King tied the knot in a not so traditional wedding. They had a Burger King themed day thrown by the fast food chain after they got word of the couple's last name combination. You guys want cups and, and special koozies? That'd be, cool. That'd be cool. We have one more custom item that I just want to show you. No way! Yes. Oh it's on us. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh! The entire wedding party took photos wearing the signature crown. The groom and his groomsmen wore Burger King t-shirts under their tuxes for some fun Superman style pics. They also had Burger King cufflinks and hamburger themed socks. Whopper! So did the bride go by Ashley Burger King? For the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Joel and Ashley Burger! Her last name will be Burger, but it forever will be Burger King. <laughs> no royal wedding is complete without a parade of stylish hats. And in 2018, Inside Edition went behind the scenes at Philip Tracy's workshop in London, where the accessories were shown off. This is where all the action is happening. Yes. Meghan Markle has worn several hats by the designer. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I love this hat. In February of 2023, April and Erin made a big last minute change when they tied the knot in the Philippines. Four days before the wedding, parang nag change kami ng plan. Why not have the concept of using onions so that after the wedding, we can still use them? 
unlike with just using flowers, after the event you can only display them. This couple became a viral sensation for incorporating produce into their big day. The bride's bouquet weighed 11 pounds, and all the bridesmaids had similar arrangements to match, as did the groom and groomsmen with their onion boutonnieres. We did not expect it to go viral. We just wanted our wedding to be unique and memorable. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Andrea Swindle.